Well, it's hideous out. What, what can you expect? It's October. <laughs> At least the, uh, the leaves are pretty, right? <laughs> eh, whatever. I'd rather see sunshine and hot sandy beaches, personally. But uh, anyway, um, so I just wanted to have a quick chat with you today, catch you up. Uh, yesterday, I, um, I decided, if you saw my last blog post, it wasn't a video post, but I talked about this hills run that I do and uh, how much pain I can be in when I do this hills run, mostly because of a hill at the far, at, at the ag exact, almost exact point where I do my turnaround and start coming back. So I'm right in the middle of my run. I'm already really tired and it's just this huge staircase that I run up and at the top it's almost impossible to stay running. Um, my, you know, my heart's beating like mad and my legs are screaming at me and I can barely breathe and I'm swearing to myself. Um, and I tell you, I just, I hate that hill, but that's why I do it because it's such a good workout to get to the top at a running pace and then keep running and then get home still, four more hills on the way home. So um, anyway, as I was running yesterday, I was sort of thinking to myself, uh, I pass three, four, food venues when I run that run. Um, two concessions, two beach concession stands and one restaurant that's now built in place of a concession stand that they tore down. So, you know, um, and especially in the summer, I, I run past these concessions and they're all lined up with people and there I am running in the hot sun, uh, sweating and suffering and uh, they're all lined up to get their burgers and their hot dogs and I mean I've had lots of people lots of times you know I don't eat that kind of food very often at all I mean almost never even when I go to the beach um, I tried to take my own food my some veggies and some you know lean protein and maybe some cheese or whatever hard-boiled egg whatever um, and eat my own stuff I won't go to the concession and when a lot of times when we're sitting on the beach my friends will be like well I'm gonna get a burger you want a burger and I'm like, oh. Not today. I'm not, I've got enough food with me today. I'm not really into a burger. And people are like, well, you know, aren't you tempted? That kind of thing. And I have to say that, um, no, I'm not really tempted. And the reason I'm not tempted is because um, when I see the people that are lined up for that kind of food, they're almost always 80% overweight people. <laughs> and uh, as much as it pains me to say that, um, it's the truth. You know, lots of tourists and lots of locals that just uh, just eat that way regularly, and that's their reward is they get a little, they get overweight and out of shape, and so you know, I'm I run past these concession stands, um, not feeling tempted at all to like stop and have a burger. Like a couple of a friend of mine said on Facebook a couple of days ago, if it was me, I'd stop and I'd eat a pizza and have a chocolate bar. I'm like, man, you, you just wouldn't because while you're in the middle of it something else is going on in your head and um, when I run past those stands I actually don't feel tempted I feel even more motivated because I know I'm out there for a very specific reason that's really important to me and I know that that kind of food won't get me what I want um, and seeing the people that are lined up for those stands motivates me even more because it reminds me of why I'm not tempted by that food <laughs> because I don't want to be that. I want to be fit and healthy and lean and I want my abs to show when I'm in a bathing suit and all that stuff. So um, yeah, no, I'm not tempted by those stands. I'm motivated by those stands to keep going with what I'm doing because I know I'm going in the right direction. Um, stopping it that one of those stands is the wrong direction. So anyway, I just wanted to share that, that I, I can find motivation from some very interesting things that go on in my head when I'm running, um, you know, I can find motivation from temptation <laughs> and not being tempted um, just because of all the reasons I just explained. But anyway, I hope you're having a great day and uh, it's my birthday coming up next weekend. So <laughs> I'll be turning, do you want to know how old I'll be turning? Uh, I don't want to admit it, but whatever, it's public knowledge for, most, for the most part. Yeah, I'll be turning 48. So, yeah, <laughs> um, behaving up until then and uh, keeping, keeping going with the, with the progress and all that stuff. And um, on my birthday night, I, I bet all bets will be off. I'm going to go out for a nice decadent dinner and some cake and a few drinks and have a good time um, and just kind of let it all go. But uh, it'll be right back to, to business again on, um, on Sunday. So, yeah, anyway, have a great one, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.